Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm Cross Stitch Midwife on Instagram. Um, and this will be my first and possibly last uh, floss tube. Um, I started cross stitching in 2020 um, just for something to do really because I'm a midwife and obviously couldn't go out and work was very stressful. So like lots of people I decided to take on a hobby and somehow chose cross stitch. Um, so I thought I would just do a bit of a whip parade uh, my lounge is an utter tip because I've got everything out now. Um, so, yeah, just thought I'll just show you what I've got on the go at the minute. So not all these are active um, whips, so to speak. So I don't have a, I don't have a, a, a whip picker or anything that I, you know, I just get up and decide I'm going to do this today. I don't have like an active and an inactive rotation. I just you know pick decide what i'm going to do that day so i've just plucked everything and literally I'm surrounded by it. so there's going to be no particular order it's just going to be what i've got on the go so this is my um twisted rainbow sampler by northern expressions needlework so it has got um, it's a band of cross stitches followed by a band of specialist stitches. Um, if you've never done specialist stitches before, don't be scared of them. Just do them because they're not that hard. It's just one of those things that once you have a go, you, they're a bit addictive then and they give such a lovely effect. Um, I would zoom in, but I don't have a fancy camera. I've, I'm literally on my phone, so I don't know if it will show you how what they're like but there's close-up pictures of it on my um instagram so i think i'm not quite halfway but i'm not far off so i'm very happy with the progress i've made on that i absolutely love the colors they are in the dinky dyes um silk so i think it works out you can buy a pack of the silks I think it's 60 pound or something but it's well worth it because the colors as you can see are absolutely gorgeous so that's that one. So then what have I got to show you next? Oh, next this is, everything's on Q-snaps and stuff. So this is Dreaming Girl by Barbara Anna Designs. Uh, I started this, did a fair bit and then decided to put it away. So like I said, I've got a few that I just pick every day and decide what I'm gonna do. So that's her. This is a chromatic alchemy fabric. I think it's Cirrus 32 count even weave. Um, but it's gorgeous. I love it. I do want to finish it, but at the minute it's Christmas, so I've got Christmassy stuff to do. Uh, then what have we got next? Oh, then I've got this is Blossom, a Mirabilia pattern. So it's this one. Um, and she is on a Sparkly's iridescent, not iridescent, opal fabric. Um, I think it's called Slightly Scarlet, but don't quote me. Um, so I've not done that much of her because like a lot of people, I um, start stuff and then get carried away and want to do something else. So that's her. This is, I think, 28 count, but it's very pretty. I love it. Then what have I got next? Oh, this is one of my favourites. So this is, um, is it Tapestry B? Let me get my folder. Quilting B. I always call it Tapestry B and I don't know why. So this is Quilting B by the Blue Flower. This is a 40 count. It's just, um, I can't remember what the fabric's called now, but it's a 40 count and it's one over one. It's absolutely divine and it's one of my favorite things to stitch on and i'll be really sad when i've finished it um and it's all in is it classic color works yeah classic color works but yeah that's one of my favorites it's really really pretty oh god i've got stuff everywhere this is going to take me hours to sort out um so that's that then what have i got next do, do, do. Oh, again, this is another of my favourite ones to stitch. So this is a Jardin Privé pattern called um, Au Fil de Nichois. I'm not French. 
Um, I think it translates to something like little bird houses or something. Um, and I think I'm about halfway through with this. So each bird house is different and it goes along with the seasons. So it's just so pretty. And as you stitch it and all these things just appear, it's really cute. So this is just on a, I think it's a 32 count linen. I think it's just like a natural colour, but I can't remember. But again, one of my favourites to stitch on. Then, oh, come here. This is, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this because I took this to the retreat. So this is another Mirabilia. This is um, Botanical Garden. It is on a crafty kitten fabric, which she's shut down now, so you can't buy it anymore. So she will look like this. She's absolutely gorgeous. So when I took her to the retreat, uh, I didn't have anything down here. So all this was done at the retreat and just after. Um, and again, she's one of my favourites to stitch on. The colours are gorgeous and I absolutely love her face. There's all the back stitching and stuff to go on yet up here and more down here. Um, and then all the dreaded beading, which again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know how much I despise beading. Then I've got, oh, this is another Mirabilia. This is Fairy Moon. So I don't have the original pattern. It's been, um, it's out of print. So my friend has it. So she's given me a working copy, which isn't illegal in case you're wondering. So um, I've done quite a lot on her, to be fair. There's more pale round here. Have I got a picture? Let me see if I've got a picture. Yeah. So this is what she will look like. So I've done this bit here. Um, but again, she's absolutely divine. She is on a 28 count even weave from Sparkly's called Gothic. Um, I did the Stargazer on this fabric as well, just because it was a bit like a night sky. And I was hoping that this will be the, or I hope it will, this will be the same. That's her. Then what have I got? Oh, this is one of my Christmas ones. That I've not done for ages. So this is Snow Village from Country Cottage Needleworks. So it's a series of nine um, cottages. I think it's nine. Um, but there's absolutely loads of them. They're really, really cute. You can do them individually or you can do them separate. I have stuck with the, um, the threads that it asks for, which are the, what are they called? Classic Colour Works. Um, but I've swapped out the white that they said to use for the snowflakes and instead I'm using the sparkly one by DMC. Um, I need to do some more on this. I've been doing Glitter Village, so I meant to finish this and I've still not. Why, many, why, why we do this all the time, don't we? Say we're going to finish something and never do. Then I've got a Dimensions one, which... I, I despise kits. I don't know why. I, I really don't know why I don't like kits. I think I don't like how the um, I don't like how the the floss comes all in big long strands. Again, if you've watched my Insta stories, then you'll know how much I despise it. I like neatness. Um, so it will look like this. It's called Lakeside Village. So the only difference is I've swapped out the Ada because I can't stand Ada and it, this is a blue even weave. It's exactly the same colour as the Ada that was in the pack. Um, but again, this is another one I like stitching on. So these are like half stitches down here. So it's lovely. Um, but it is more or less full coverage. So it's nice though. We like it. And then what have I got then? Oh. Again, one of my favourites. I really need to finish her. So this is Luna Mystica. I can't actually remember what fabric this is. I'm pretty sure it's gothic um, from Sparkly's. Uh, but it's a linen, not an even weave. Hence, it's darker. But again, I've all I've got to do now is back stitching. I think there's a tiny bit of stitching here to do, but that's it, this bit. Um... But there's loads of back stitching to do, and then obviously millions and millions of beads. Uh, but she's stunning. I can't wait till she's finished. Uh, then what have I got now? 
start with the ones on the floor I've, I'm not keeping count I don't actually know exactly how many whips I've got so uh, if somebody wants to keep count that's great ha! so this is a Madame Chantilly let me get the pattern it's called Celebrate Summer um, and there's a series of these so that's that it's really pretty so there's a summer a spring an autumn and a winter she also does easter christmas and a halloween one as well but they're like um like an afternoon tea cake stand thing but i've done a fair bit on that i've done half, the top half the pattern's in two halves so i've done the top bit i've done here up um so i just need to do the bottom bit now but again that is another favorite to stitch on Trying to put some of them away so I haven't got a complete mess. Uh, what have I got next? Oh, so I have got a head. Uh, so this is Amsterdam Sunday Night by Leonid Alfremov. It is absolutely, or it will be huge when it's done. Um, and I can't remember, I'm only something like 5% done or something ridiculous. I got a picture of this because it's on pattern keeper but um this is how lame i am i, I like everything in boxes um so this is what it'll look like when it's done it's absolutely gorgeous the colors on it are stunning um so i'm only in the top left corner but you can make out the windows and everything so i picked this up not long ago actually for the first time in ages I seem to have lost my needle on this that's a bit scary um picked it up for the first time in ages and forgot how much i like stitching on it so i will have to get it out more often um but yeah that's that one no idea where the needle is and i always leave a needle on so that is a bit terrifying because if i've dropped it on me now i'm gonna have a panic then what have i got now oh this is another dimensions kit this is one that i totally regret buying but i adore the pattern but I really wish I had swapped out the Ada. So this is Victorian Charm. And it came with this navy blue Ada. Now, I hate Ada. Is it that way? No, it's that way. But I've started it now, so I'm going to have to carry on. Um, I just find Ada really hard to stitch on now. I stitch on Even Weave. Um, it's my friend's fault. She told me to buy Even Weave. And then once I started, I can't go back. Um but yeah it's really it's so it's so pretty i bought it because it's really really pretty i absolutely love it so i do want to finish it it's just one of them things of when am i going to finish it but anyway there you go that's another one that i forgot i have what have i got next oh we'll do that one last then i have i got a picture of this because again it's on my um ipad because it's on pattern keeper so this is a long dog sampler this is castles in the air so i started doing this because i'd seen um Teresa little stitcher doing it so it's in what's the floss called it's in this floss that i got hang on a minute i shall tell you because i can't absolutely can't remember what it's called da, da, da. thread works colour 1150 but I can't it has got a name as well on the website but I can't remember what it's called um but I'm not stitching it as in like trying to keep a variation in a pattern I'm just stitching it uh, and again this is another one that I really I forgot how much I like this one um you stitch and then all of a sudden a bird will appear or something so uh, this is another one that I really like um I started this in 2020 before I discovered even weave I think uh, I think this is just a 16 count Ada, uh, but this ain't too bad to stitch on, don't mind it, um, but it's just plain white. So that's that. A variety of bloody whip bags that I've run out of. Uh, oh, this is a recent start, I ain't got a picture of this either. This is By The Bay Needle Art. This is Serenity Harbour. So I've only just started this last month. So there's not much done on this at all. But it's a huge pattern. And when it's done, it'll be absolutely gorgeous. This is a 32 count, just a blush pink uh, linen from Lakeside Needlecraft. Absolutely, I love this. Um, my friend Pam has got this 
like loads of it stitched up and it's it's just gorgeous which is why i decided i needed to do it um so that is one that's going to take ages to do as well i can't i must have taken the needles off because there's no needles on there for these whips um then i went to the no bam the not only but also mirabilia retreat uh, recently and I won in the raffle the entire kit for the Mirabilia Spring Queen um, so again I haven't got the actual picture of this I don't think because the pattern is out of print so you don't win the actual pattern I won the a working copy so this is where I'm up to the needle minder is how she looks uh, and if you just google her it'll show you so this is how far I got um the kit included fabric that you chose from um sparklies so this is a 28 count even weave in totally can't remember can't remember what it's called G oh gina's delight how could i forget um all the floss and everything came with it and it, the needle minder so i started that and this is a lovely one to stitch it's got nice blocks of color um albeit some great big blocks of boring colours but as a whole it's gorgeous so I'm cracking on with that one and then my pride and joy that I'm really shit at getting it out I keep forgetting that I actually have it um I did start a chatelaine now when I said if you're scared don't be scared of specialist stitches um I got this pattern and then I I'll do a reveal in a minute. I bought this pattern because I loved the colours and the design. And then when it came, I opened the paper pattern and I promptly capped my pants because I thought, oh my God, massively bit off more than I can chew. Um, and then once I'd done a few specialist stitches, it was fine. And this is absolutely stunning. So this is just on an antique white. Uh, I think, I want to say it's a 28 count, but it might be 25 um it's just an even weave and i just i would looked at lots and lots of like hand dyed fabrics and then i thought no because if i have it on white then this will stand out more and i'm really glad that i did i i wouldn't want to have it on a specialist fabric um but it's absolutely beautiful i couldn't wait and i beaded this center bit um so all this here is all beaded as well that's got to be done um Again, I've not got a picture of this because it's on my iPad. Uh, oh, have I? Actually, I might be lying. I don't think it'll be... No, it's definitely on my iPad. So, this, to kit up, I think, ended up costing me something like £240. Uh, and it's because you have um, a ton of DMC. Then you have... Lots of Karen Water Lilies, Gloriana Silks, Dinky Dyes in there. Um, you have loads of Treasure Braids. I mean, look at the colours on these are just to die for. Um, so there's loads. And obviously then there's a million beads. And so this, I think, is one of the most beaded Chatelaines that you can get. Um, and there's lots of Swarovski crystals to go in it as well. Um so I did, I bought everything, so I just need to actually do it now. Uh, have I got any more whips or is that it? I think that might be it. I also have, um, although you can't see it because it's on my Millennium frame. I'll have to do it sideways. So I'm, I am doing a, um, this is Fruits of Plenty. It's a modern folk embroidery sampler. Uh, but it's on my Millennium Frame, so it will fit next to me, stupid light thing. Uh, I've not done that much of this one, but again, this is another one because it's just two colours. It's just really nice just to stitch. I love it. Um, this is on a Chromatic Alchemy fabric. Totally can't remember what it's called. It'll come to me at some point. But yeah, I love that one as well. And then I'm just doing Glitter Village, which if you go look on my Instagram you'll see my stories so that's it just uh leave a comment saying if you like this floss tube or not and then i may or may not do another one I did consider doing a stash dive although that might take a while 
Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Come and see me on Instagram. <laughs>